everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new hi my name is joanna and i'm happy that you have joined us today hopefully you subscribe um today's video is going to be an unboxing video on the boxy lux by boxy charm it's the big box this is the september edition we will be opening it up and seeing all the goodies that are in here first all right so let's get on and start unboxing this box so let's get into that video Okay, so we're just gonna open this up and see what's inside this bad boy. I haven't opened it yet. I mean, I did break the seal, but as you can see, everything is still in there. And that's why I'm bare faced because I don't know if I wanna try things on. So this here tells me everything that's in the box. So I'm just gonna throw shit on the floor. Um, the first thing I'm pulling out of the box is the Doc by Dr. Brandon Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. Oh yeah. So this is supposedly supposed to deeply hydrate, moisturize to reduce redness and signs of irritate and signs of irritation. Locks in moisture to prevent water loss. So this is what it looks like when you take it out of the packaging. It's not a huge bottle. It's a small, regular sized one. I'm not using that today. We'll put that back in the box. The next thing I'm pulling out of here are these Moda brushes. This is a Moda Studio. They look pretty cool. They look pretty good. Let's see. And it says it's 100% vegan, cruelty free, and I guess these would cost more because they're Moda Studio brushes. They're not just regular Moda brushes. So these are all the brushes, and in this pack comes eight brushes. So I think I get to use some the majority of these today which I'm excited about. I have two brushes. <laughs> the next thing is this Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. So it's a brightening and smoothing um, serum. I'm excited to even try this. Um, let's see. Put it open. See what it looks like. Alright. Oh, it's like a little, little teeny pineapple. Awesome. Oh. Mmm, it really does smell like pineapples. Does it have like chunks of pineapple in it? Mm, I almost want to eat it or try it. Oh, it smells so good. All right, and so the next thing I'm pulling out is, ooh, this packaging is so beautiful. This is by Tarte. This is a Park as a Princess. I'm going to hold it down like that so that it's not glaring at the camera. At you guys, blinding your eyes. Oh my God. Let me open it up and see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's okay. It's just a little plastic thing that's inside. Oh, it says chiseled like a diamond. I would show you guys like what it says on the mirror, but right here it says that. And then we have some bronzers and then I think there's only like one, two shimmer shades. I got a new contour palette to try. I mean, I'm obsessed with the Kat Von D one, but this packaging is so beautiful. Oh my goodness, Tarte. For those that know me, know that I'm obsessed with like snake print or even like crocodile print. I love that shit, love it. Definitely gonna try that today. And the next thing I'm pulling out is this IGK um, Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. This girl needs something up in this hair, but I need to get get it retouched and redone. So I will be trying this out for sure my hair and I will let you guys know if I like it or not. You guys will see me in a video brave, brave in, raving about it if I do like it. All right, so I'm putting that back in the box because I'm not using that today. Ooh, and I have a Hank and Harry Blickety Black Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. Ooh, hoo -hoo. so that's We'll see if I use it today. I don't know. I'm going to have to because it's in the box. I can't say it. I don't know. And then, oh, this is so far. So this is a steel liquid lipstick. And this is in the color Rubino. Let's see what it looks like. Shall we? I'm excited. I've never, I've never done an unboxing video. So the packaging. Regular steel lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks. Ah. Oh, screams fall like... 
So I'm just gonna swatch it on the back of my hand here. I'm just gonna bring it up closer so you guys can see. Oh, <laughs> it's so pretty. And the last thing in this box, so let's check and make sure there's nothing else in here. So it's this Violet Voss Essentials eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. And that's it. So let's get into the video and start trying these products on. So the first thing I'm going to start off is with the Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum Hyaluronic Acid. It contains chamomile, calms and soothes skin, creating a gentle formula for sensitive skin, which I have very sensitive skin. I usually cannot put anything else on my skin besides a you know, moisturizer because my skin is very sensitive. I don't like to put anything oily on it at all because it will clog up my pores easy. Um, it has high in vitamin E. So it says we apply one to two drops on clean skin and gently pat into skin for optimal absorption. So let's do so. so one to two drops. One. I'm just gonna put three because I gotta be a little extra. And I did little drops just because it's oof. yeah. I feel it feels good. It feels nice on my skin. It feels really good. Oh. So I'm just patting it for now. I didn't put a lot because you know, I'm a little scared, but we'll see. So far, it doesn't feel bad. It feels really, mm, it feels good. Like my dog is about to lick the crap out my face. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin after the drops or the serum that I just applied, which is the same thing I always apply, which is my Avena lotion. So I'm just gonna do that off camera and then prime my eyes or put on my base and be right back okay so i'm back brows are on even though they're not the same but it's okay so i'm gonna go in my this is gonna i'm getting a fall vibe from this and ugh, like i was trying to stick to pinks the pink side but i'm just like it's a little hard so i'm definitely gonna do a fall makeup look and the first color i'm going to go into is the color cinnamon don't mind my nails. I just got this and I went to the video. I'm just gonna apply that, pack that on onto the crease. Oh, this color is so pretty. I'm just gonna bring that right to the end. And I just rest the brush right on the lid. I do pass my crease a little bit and then it should look something like that. Let me do the other eye off camera because I don't want to like waste too much time. All right, and so the next brush I'm gonna use is the smudger brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and go into Terracotta, which is a nice like burnt orange shade. And I'm just gonna put that right above. The lash that I just put up. Oh my god, these colors are so like vibrant. So this is how you want the next color to look. All right, so I'm gonna have to cheat just a little bit and bring out a brush that's not in here to blend this out. And this is the Morphe M506 brush. I tried to use a detail brush, but it's too hard. It's too. Uh, had it been like this one, it would have been perfect. But so I'm just going to blend that terracotta and cinnamon together here. That's all I'm doing. Nothing crazy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the top color. And for that, I'm going to use the brush that's in here and I'm going to use it and I'm going to lift my brow and I'm just, just the outer edges of that, like the top part of it, we're going to blend that. These aren't the brushes I would use for this look, to be honest, but I'm trying to make it work here. I'm going to... Re Somebody needs to shut that off. 
So I'm just gonna apply some more of that terracotta on the outer edge again. But I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit. Thank God. We'll bring it up just a tad bit higher. Okay. So with the fluffy brush, crease brush, and we're just gonna take sand and put it right and blend out that terracotta with it. And so now I'm gonna go back into cinnamon and we're just gonna reapply that bitch because it has disappeared and we're just not, we're not gonna bring it too high. We wanna keep it pretty low because we're gonna cut the crease. You're just dabbing the color on because you want good color payoff. Uh, so these colors so far are pretty damn good. I've heard that the black isn't that great, which I don't think I'm using the black today, but maybe I will. Maybe I will just to try it out. So once again, I'm going to put in the color terracotta. I mean, yeah, terracotta. And we're just going to build it up again right above that color. Right above cinnamon. As you know, the same process. We're going to take the Morphe M506 brush and just blending the bottom part. You're not touching the top half of it. Just the part that meet cinnamon and terracotta or the part that meets cinnamon and then dipping back in with the uh dipping into sand with the crease brush you are going to blend out the top part of the terracotta i always pull my brow to just like oh, help open up my eye but if you lean your head back it definitely helps as well but lightly you're not using like you're not pushing on it you're just lightly blending everything you just let the brush do the job so that's how i want my eye to look and i'm gonna do the same thing with the other eye and then i'll be right back okay so now that we're pretty much blended um we're gonna dip into cinnamon once again and i'm just dabbing that color on this is such a pretty color Yes, this technique I like to use require a lot of steps, okay? I said I would do a simpler way and I will. I definitely will. So I'm just gonna cut the crease. I'm gonna take my same P. Louise base that I always use. Hi, Lucas! So I would say I would just cut it to about there. I did go a little too far, but this is what I do. I blend it out with my finger. I have to say this brown isn't the best either mm -mm. okay i am back and as you can see i fucked up this crease over here so we're gonna take that flat brush what is this brow brush and we're just going to use the very tip and we're just gonna fix that okay i'm gonna actually go in with the color emerald and gold and apply those to the crease but first i'm gonna reapply cinnamon because it just looks a hot mess so using that morphe m506 brush i'm just gonna take cinnamon and reapply that here so that way it doesn't look cuckoo crazy all right so i'm gonna use a flat brush that is by bh cosmetics it's like this i'm gonna go into that color emerald actually i'm lying i'm gonna go into the color gold i don't know if i have to wet this down but we're just gonna apply that into the inner portion of the eye and just meet it about half of the eye and i have to like push it in okay so using the same brush i'm just gonna flip it over to the other side i'm gonna dip into the color emerald and apply that starting at the end oof went a little bit past where I needed to go. I gotta hurry up. I gotta go tend my baby. He just woke up from his nap. I usually meet them halfway, like the two colors, but you know, shit happens. Sometimes you gotta switch it up, which you had in mind. So I'm just bringing it here and I just dab it on. So like when I'm mixing the colors together and then I'm gonna dip into the gold and just do the same thing. I'm gonna go this way with it. And then I'm gonna dip into the green again and, and then go like that. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is so pretty. 
And then I'm going to use that detailed brush that came in the motor package. And I'm going to dip in back into cinnamon. And I'm just going to pack that on in the edge here. In the outer edge. And then I'm just going to blend it in there. That is home. Okay, and with that same pencil brush, I'm going to go into that black. Because I just want to try it out and see like if it really is shitty. So you're just gonna apply that to the very outer V here, just to darken it up. And then to blend it in, I'm just gonna use my Morphe M5 06 brush and just like lightly blend that out. I don't, mm, I don't know about this too much, guys. Like you, I have like a missing patch of the color. I'm not too convinced about this cinnamony color. So this eye, I have the same missing patch here in the corner. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the glitters colors, okay, the shimmer colors are like beautiful. Um, terracotta, beautiful. Cinnamon, not so beautiful. I don't know why, but it's just not sticking in some areas here, like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Hank and Harry, Hen, Harry. <laughs> the Hank and Henry liquid liner. Whoa, okay, that's not what I was looking for. And I'm just gonna do a very thin light just because, oh, this is one of those good ones. It has that little thing to shake so that the product doesn't get gross inside. And I'm just gonna do a very thin, line you guys i just don't want to i usually don't rock a liner with these looks so a very thin linita little line um and if you shake it it just like moves the product around i think and it makes it better and all the way down nothing crazy so I'm going to do the other eye off camera, but yes, it's black. It's actually really good. Um, so I thought it wasn't working over the foiled shades, but it is working. It's working just fine. Okay, so both eyes are like lightly lined up. Um, as far as this eyeshadow, mm, eh, I don't think I would. I mean, I don't know. It's very patchy in areas and like when you blend, it just, it's gone the black it's gone after blending so definitely mm -mm. okay so i am gonna go ahead and put foundation and concealer and all that jazz and then i will be right back all right so i'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the rcma no color powder which i always use and i'm gonna use the <laughs> i don't know why I keep doing it um with the face or this is the powder brush i'm sorry and I'm just going to set everything. I'm gonna set my whole face just because I don't know how this contour is gonna be. So I'm doing the under eyes and everything with this. Okay. I'm going under the eyes with it. Oh, okay, so we're shedding hair. That's not good. I don't, I can't stand when brushes do that. Okay. It's time for that contour palette. All right, so going in with that Moda, Moda, Moda brush. This is the contour brush. I think I'm gonna go into both angle and princess cut, both colors, just dip into both. This is more like, oof, oof. I think I'm a little ham to the forehead. I know I look crazy right now. <laughs> Don't I always love contouring? I don't be playing. I go crazy with my contour. I'm just getting inside that hairline because it's like pretty white in there. I mean, this contour right now is too orangey for me. It's on the orangey side. So that's because I mixed two of them. But maybe next time I would just go with most likely Princess Cut. Like I said, I haven't found anything that, that will stop me from using the Kat Von D. Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette like that is like my favorite palette. There's all the chin. So using that shader brush, I just cleaned it off with in my little dry brush cleaner. I'm going to dip into Angle because I feel like Princess Cut is a little too um, orange tone for me. 
And I'm just gonna contour my nose really quick. Oof, this is just too orangey. Let me see what this color looks like. Maybe Princess Cut will look better. I'm just gonna mix them both. And yes, I am starting at the bottom of my nose and working my way up. Okay, there's my nose contour. All right, I'm just gonna take that face brush that's like shedding and I'm just gonna like go over everything and blend it out because I don't know, I just feel like this is too orangey for me. So it needs to be like blended. It's looking a little better now. Let's do this part. Too bad there's no blush in this palette because you know that would have been nice. Like the Too Faced one had a blush. This one just has a highlight but it's like too dark for me to wear i don't know i just been so picky with like bronzers and stuff like i'll buy something at the store that someone will say oh it's the bomb or it's so good and then i'm like eh, it was all right like right now there's no contour like no shot <laughs> i'm just waiting on the doctor to come in and just start cutting so i guess it doesn't look so bad now that i just blended everything out i just had to like the extra and then the nose i'm just gonna blend it out because it looks crazy <laughs> i left two harsh lines there and i'm just gonna blend the tip of my nose um i just realized there's no blush so i'm gonna do the blush off camera and then come in and do the highlight so i was gonna finish my under eye first but i just need to do the highlight just to use the highlight brush and then we'll just finish the under eye so i'm gonna go in to i'm gonna use my own highlighter because obviously no highlighter came into this um box so i'm using the milani highlighter in afterglow milani afterglow highlighter in strobe light i think that's that's it i might be wrong and i'm just gonna apply it right here oh my god this is so i've never used this actually so and we're just gonna apply it here do that little c shape that i like to do do you see that wow <laughs> and the same on this side I'm just gonna go with the same highlight down the bridge of my nose. Okay, so I'm just using my finger. And the hell's going on over there? Put that on my nose, my lip. I'm gonna go into the waterline with a nude pencil. So in this Park F Princess, there's a color in here that says Halo. I'm gonna dip into that and put that into that use that color to set the waterline pencil and same thing on this side yeah, yeah. i'm gonna go into the violet boss palette and dip into cinnamon and put that color as quilt right here at the bottom lash line okay i'm gonna bring it just a little bit down because i have fine lines down here that i'd like to cover because you know, I am in my 30s, I'm not 20. All right, after adding cinnamon, you're gonna add the color terracotta right underneath it. And I'm just gonna use that sub smudger brush that came in the packet. Ooh, that was a little too much. And we're just gonna add that color right underneath. So going back with that shader brush, which I cleaned again, I'm gonna go into sand and blend out terracotta so it doesn't look so harsh, okay? Just because. Alright, and then I'm gonna go into that black shade and then I'm just gonna put it right on that lash line, like very, very close. And I'm only gonna go up to here with it. I'm not going in too far with it. Alright, let me go ahead and put some lashes on. I left that for last just because no lashes came in this box, which I'm not mad. I'm not mad at the stuff I got either. I'm sure I can continue to play with it and let you guys know like what works best. Before I put those lashes on, I forgot to do a little inner, inner corner highlight and I'm just gonna go into that color cream that's in the same Violet Boss palette and just apply that there. <sighs> My house just got so noisy because everyone's home right now. Okay, you guys, so I think this is it. I completed the look, I completed something using everything that I got, well mostly everything I got. I am pretty happy with most of the stuff. The motor brushes, um, I would say my favorite one was this one, which is the crease brush, the smudger brush, 
the highlighter brush was was pretty good. The powder brush wasn't too bad. So the only oh my contour brush wasn't too bad. The only brush I didn't care for was that detailed brush, which is supposed to be like the round, like a pencil brush. Didn't care for this brush. This brush sucks. I would toss it. But all these other brushes that came in the kit, I loved. It says here that they run for $69.99. Hell no. Hell no, I would not pay $69.99 for these brushes. You're better off getting some BH Cosmetics brushes for way cheaper than this. I mean, the brushes were great, but not $69.99 worth. Um, as far as the Violet Voss palette, would I spend money on this? So it says that this palette runs for $29. Save your money. Um, not even that serious. It's not that great. You're better off just getting a Morphe palette. There's Morphe palettes that have the same exact colors in it and probably get more colors for less. As far as the Tarte Park Ave Princess palette, I would say it's not that bad. I would probably keep this palette and I'd probably use it. Um, I think it's more like summery time use because it's more on the orangey side. But this one runs for $45 and I don't think it's a bad price for it. And the packaging is pretty pretty. It's very pretty. It's like rose gold it's beautiful and i definitely would pay 45 dollars for this to be honest so as far as the glow recipe pineapple bright serum this runs for 49 dollars i mean it seems like it's more like um it's a natural thing so i mean why not i mean it smells like straight up pineapples i had to smell it again like i just want a malibu with pineapple juice over ice just smelling this I definitely spend that amount on a serum for my face, especially since I have sensitive skin and it's great for sensitive skin. Uh, as far as the Hank and ha Harry, <laughs> the Hank and Henry um, eyeliner, which this is a black, blickety black eyeliner. Um, this is also vegan. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna try this at work because when I go to work. That's where I try all of my waterproof, water resistant, or transfer resist resistant eyeliner or anything. So this runs for $20. I'm definitely going to have to retry this out at work and see if it's worth $20. But I would pay the $20 to try it out if I didn't know if it was good or not. So I just realized I still have the liquid lipstick to put on. So now I'm just going to apply the liquid lipstick. This is by Stila. And... Uh, I don't know if it goes on my look, but I'm just gonna put it on anyways because this is a try on. So the lip definitely does not go with this, but I just did it because I wanted you guys to see what it looks like. All right, you guys, so this is what I came up with with everything that was in the box that I could use and that I could, um, at this time, I can't use the nighttime mask or the cream, but I will use that in maybe another video. As for the lipstick, I like the lipstick. It's not sticky at all. I don't know who has said that it is sticky, but it's not. So if you put too many layers on, then it would be sticky, but I don't have a sticky like feel. I like the color. I wouldn't pair this color lip with this eyeshadow, but... I wanted to use everything for you guys and use a good amount of colors on the palette just so you guys can see. As far as that, I think my favorite thing out of the whole palette was probably the liquid lipstick. Oh, and the pineapple um, serum. From my calculations, everything in this box is totaled at $315. All right, so if you like this type of video, don't forget to hit the like button down below, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification symbol down below so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. Bye. I'm gonna do the other eye off, off 
offline. I don't know why I keep saying offline. I just want to keep saying offline. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Like it's and it's a full size one. Like this is a big one, a big one. That's half of my eyeshadow. Oh, I just spilled this all over me. Oh, yo, yo. 